All right, new apartment, new setup, new episode of Frasier to review. So episode five of Frasier has dropped on Paramount Plus and this series has just kept me in limbo. Uh, it has its highs, it has its lows, it sets me up and then it just lets me down at the same time. But this episode had some pretty decent shit going on. So the basic premise is Frasier, Alan and Olivia are being invited to possibly be accepted into a fancy club at Harvard. There's three of them, only two of them can make it in. Now this is very reminiscent of the 1995 episode, The Club, where Frasier and Niles are trying to get into the Empire Club, but there is only one position available to throw each other under the bus. And of course, hilarity ensues. Now in this episode, there also is a subplot of Freddy trying to teach David how to pick up women. They involve Eve at one point, and it was like the subplot of when Freddy and Eve were auditioning and going over lines for a play, and it just falls completely flat until the end, it picks up a little bit. But I think it's one of those things where you need a bit of filler while the main plot is going on. So we see that Frasier and Alan kind of team up to try and throw Olivia under the bus, and this is where it leads to some of the best writing I've seen in the series so far. Frasier and Alan are speaking to each other in Latin. They think Olivia has no idea what they're talking about. They go over to someone who they believe is the Dean of Harvard. Turns out it's a waiter, but they're convinced he's the Dean. While Olivia goes over and chats to the actual Dean whilst also speaking Latin. And to me, that was just... Brilliant writing that threw me back to the original Empire Club episode, even hints of the matchmaker. And I know I brought up the matchmaker in my previous review, but the writing in the matchmaker is so good with those mixed signals in terms of the dialogue and Frasier thinking that Tom has something for Daphne, but Tom actually has something for Frasier. Vice versa for Frasier and Alan thinking that the waiter is the Dean and the way when the waiter says certain things, Frasier thinks it's philosophical and mind blowing. And it just got me feeling the feels of the original series. It was great. This series has divided a lot of people. Let's not beat around the bush. Some people absolutely love love it and I kind of envy them. A lot of people are not liking it and I just am, like I said, stuck in this limbo at the moment where I don't know how to feel about it. It makes me feel things at times, then other times it just lets me write down with this How I Met Your Mother Disney Channel humor. But the saving grace was the shenanigans happening with Frasier, Alan, and Olivia. Sprinkled with a bit of physical comedy from Alan and Nicholas Lindhurst, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his surname, is a cut above in terms of this series. Kelsey Grammer is always going to be number one in this series and just Frasier in general. Like, he's always got it. He's just he's just gotten back into the character so well. But as for Nicholas Lindhurst, he's absolutely incredible. His comedic timing is great. That dry, witty British sense of humor, it works perfectly. And we get to see Frasier in a full suit. A full suit as opposed to dad jeans and his sneakers with a half suit. So I know I said this not last review, the previous review, that my faith in this series is back. And then last week's episode just let me down again. But this one has done it again. You can't play with my emotions like this, Frasier. So at this point, we are halfway through the series. I really do hope the humor stays on point and the comedic situations that Frasier and crew put themselves into stay very similar to what happened in tonight's episode. Hope you're digging the new setup, guys. I really love it. It took a while to get everything just right and also the camera angles, but Chloe and I settled into the new apartment. Uncharted The Oxus Redemption is going to be live on this channel at 4 p.m. Saturday afternoon. That's Australian Eastern Standard Time. Looking really forward to it, but I'm also shitting myself at the same time. Love your guts, and I'll catch you in the next one.